Hello, what is up once again everyone, R of Descent here, back with yet another diecast car video and today we have the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Liberty Walk. So this is uh, a short card of the uh, Nissan Skyline from uh, Hot Wheels, of course, uh, from the Liberty Walk edition. Number 8 out of 10 from Hot Wheels J Imports, so let's go ahead and open this up. Now you might have recognized this casting before, uh, made by Hot Wheels. And interestingly enough, they did release it before. Now this is basically a modified version of that exact car which is hold on let me show you this one you might remember this one from like 2018 i believe used to be a uh, super treasure hunt i think not positively sure but um yeah i believe hot wheels uh used the same casting just that they modified it to be a liberty walk We'll take this and move this aside. We won't be checking that one now. For now, we'll be um, focusing on this one. Now, right off the bat, you can see that this car is totally slammed down because this is a Liberty Walk. It's, um, it's of course, modified. So, uh, it has everything, the body kit, so... It has to be lowered down and to me personally I know some people hate the uh, smaller smaller wheels on this one I'm not gonna lie I do hate it as well but the casting itself looks great looks fine just that the wheels just for making it slammed down that's why Hot Wheels used tiny wheels so yeah I'm not blaming Hot Wheels on that one because I know it's their job they're trying to do a Liberty Walk and the Liberty Walk has to be slammed down and modified so that it won't be you know too much similar to uh, the original and yeah, I understand that. Well, let's take a look at the car itself. So here's the Liberty Walk 2000 GT in sky blue. Uh, is the sky blue? More of like a light blue. I don't think so, it's sky blue. So you can see right here it says Liberty Walk. That's the only writing on the side. It doesn't have anything else on the side. Just that these pretty awesome body kits for um, the wide body. I like how they did the wide body kit um, for this car, which is pretty cool. You could see um, how wide has it become. For the back too, they've already like uh, make it wider a bit. So pretty amazing and again they're using the small wheels I don't mind that I know the uh, the size of the uh, the wheel cover right here is a bit big of course because uh, it's actually using the the original one which I showed you just now the blue one but they uh, modified it a bit to make it uh, a bit more different not the same for the front they've colored the front lights which is cool yeah from here on you could see the differences that they've done to the uh, wide body I mean the Liberty walk body kit you could see that they've done something different with the front you could see they've changed the headlights to be different the original one has four headlights in total this one only has two 
as well as something different for the grill. Not sure what's this though, I'm not too sure what's that. Uh, this part right here is plastic. You could see there's a color tone difference. It's actually connected to the base, which is... Now this kind of looks like sky blue. But this one, I don't think so, it's sky blue. It's more of like, still like light blue. Maybe this is turquoise. I think this is turquoise. Uh, any color it is, we'll just continue on. For the windshield banner, we do have this Liberty LB something. It says ja in Japanese, but I'm not too sure what's that. I think it says Liberty Walk there, I'm not sure. Maybe 2000 GT. I don't know. Uh, again, nothing on the sides, just that Liberty Walk. For the back, they also did some modifications for the... Um, Liberty Walk body kit. So, first of all, you could see that they've um, made the wing bigger. A bit bigger, I guess. Yeah. And then they've simplified the rear lights? Question mark. Uh, I don't know why the rear lights have already just became like that. Like, uh, from 4 to 2. I'm not sure why is that like that. Some more differences is from the bumper. You can see it's more, uh, it changed a bit more for the uh, bumper, the rear bumper, for the bottom part, which is pretty cool. Roof, uh, not much else difference for the rest of the car, I don't think. Yeah, besides of the uh, wide body and the uh, the modifications for the front grill and the front bumper also the rear wing that's basically it but overall um, this casting has its flaws which is the um, tiny wheels that makes people not wanting to buy just because of the tiny wheels now I understand that but if they use giant wheels it wouldn't be a, a Liberty Walk anymore Liberty Walk is basically more on the modifications like the suspension has been lowered down something like that um, yeah if if you use big wheels on this one, it wouldn't be much of a wide body. I mean, a uh, Liberty Walk anymore. Yeah, I forgot to show the base. Um, Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. Um, 2021 Mattel made in Malaysia. To me personally, I still like this casting though. This casting is not too bad, it's just fine how it is, just that uh, mm, there's not really complaints, much complaints about this car for me because um, I know the, the tiny wheels are a bit of an issue but still. I really understand that, I know what Hot Wheels is doing, I know what uh, Liberty Walk has made them d uh, to do. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe Liberty Walk themselves told them to make the car lower. Maybe I'm not sure, but who knows? And once again, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. See you on my other videos. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. See you soon. Bye-bye.